Outkick.com slash bet is where you can uh, join all of the DraftKings offers. Um, I'm picking two or three normally. I'm looking for, I've got four for you. I've got a four pack for you. And again, it's not a parlay, just individual straight money line bets here where if we win 50% of them, you're going to get plus money. So if we're two and two on the weekend, we're going to make a little, make a little cash here. Um, and I'm, I'm strong on these. Now, one of them, to be fair, is probably a pick em by the time Sunday rolls around. And that's where we start. The Steelers and the Falcons. Um, I'm, I've got Pittsburgh in this game. Kenny Pickett, to me, while he hasn't been great, he also hasn't been awful. He hasn't thrown an interception in the last three games. He also hasn't thrown a touchdown pass in three of the last four games. But I think he's going to finish the season strong. The Falcons' defense is a group the Steelers should be able to throw against. Pickett to Pickens in this game will be fun to watch. And the Falcons want to run the football and shorten the game. Meanwhile, Najee Harris says he's playing, but the Steelers haven't been able to run it. And that's why I think because of just the style of offense right now, I'm taking Pittsburgh over Atlanta because I think they're going to put the ball in the air and actually try to gain some momentum and build on a season that's not going to end in the postseason. Again, uh, you get the road dog, Pittsburgh. I love Tomlin here. I like Arthur Smith too, but give me the money line if, in fact, you're getting plus money on the Steelers. Bengals over the Chiefs. Measuring stick game for Cincinnati. They won this game twice last year. Keep in mind, the regular season game was Jamar Chase's breakout performance. Three touchdowns. Had like 260 combined yards through the air. He's back this week. And the Bengals have already won three of the last four games without him. The Chiefs, meanwhile, turned the football over twice last week. That's why they lost twice to the Bengals a year ago. They turned the football over. Cincinnati's defense, I think, is becoming more and more opportunistic weekly. And I'm taking another great performance between two solid quarterbacks. Bears over the Packers. It's just this simple. I realize Rodgers has absolutely owned this franchise. Justin Fields is back. He's completely off the injury report this week. Meanwhile, Rodgers added another ailment to his injury report. And I think the Packers are closer to seeing Jordan Love at quarterback than we are seeing Rodgers and that offense really start clicking. Uh, Watkins would concern me in this matchup against the, the Bears defense. And that's about it. I'm taking Chicago at home over Green Bay straight up. And why not? If the Houston Texans are going to play with energy and passion and a want to go out and thump an opponent. There's one left on the schedule to do that for a one-win team. They're hosting them on Sunday. They're hosting him on Sunday and Deshaun Watson and the Browns. All eyes will be on him. And this is a Texans roster that is gearing up for a quarterback in the draft. I still think they can run the football at a very high level with Damian Pierce and it's still a Texans team that has been close in second halves while not close in the scoreboard throughout a game. So, and the Browns are just aren't that good. Um, they're much better than the Texans. But I do think even with bad teams, you sometimes get one locker room rallying around one last hurrah. This is that for Houston.